is known for his peace and non-violence. We are very elated to have Shri 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 Vishwan Yogi, Vishwan Yogi, Vishwan Ji Maharaj, to talk about the Shri Like one thing uh, when this program was uh, announced to us, like it was like coincidence or I don't know, like it was like it was October second, and I'm like, oh my god, like, what else a day could be that this is the day that like, he has to come here to University of Memphis, and having the pleasure to come here and hear his speech, like yeah, it deserves a, a round of applause, yeah, for sure, yeah, and. Um, so, my name is Pooja and I'm a graduate student uh, in the University of Memphis and very much happy to be a part of this and I hope you guys have a good time here. And my name is Priyanka and I'm also a graduate student here at the School of Public Health. And I'm really Speak up please. And to be here. Project. Okay. Speak. Keep it close. And I'm you can also give the volume. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm really honored and excited to be here and this is little one fact that I want to share. My mother is from Guntur, so I'm really honored. I would like to uh, pass on the mic to Dr. Raj Tavi carry on with the presentation to talk about our strategy. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Wow. That's Dear good. brothers and sisters, we have in our presence uh, you can call him an icon of Indian peace, at least for us. He has raised the situation on the uh, day of Gandhi Jayanti, October 2nd, that's terrible, to speak at the University of Memphis. And uh, we're going to have a question and answer session to discuss ways to achieve peace in this world. It'd be better. No, then, then I'll do it with the mic. Because you're recording, right? Yeah, but it's it's so garbled. It, I, it's... Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay. Who is Swamiji and what is his mission? Swamiji is a spiritual humanist hailing from Gurdur, Andhra Pradesh, India, has dedicated himself to fostering universal peace and integration. He is a great humanist who has been striving relentlessly to spread the universal message of love and peace to the world. He states that we should all have love in our hearts and peace in our mind. He believes in only one religion, which is the religion of love. At his ashram in Vishwanagar, near Gondor, if you go back to one more uh, the previous slide, I want to show you the scope of it. Uh, as you see, the, which is known as the Universal Integration Pillar or the Stuba. This is built in his ashram in Vishwanagar near Gundur. It is an edifice known as Vishwamanava Samayakita Stuba, also called the Universal Integration Pillar. This stupa has eight entrances to the main prayer hall. These entrances represent the main religious sects 
in the Khan world, namely Hindu, Christian, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Zoroastra, Islam, as well as there is a door for the atheist. His belief is that all religions, whether you are a religious person, you believe in any religion or not, goes to the same place. There is only one, is the love and humanity. Period. This is the visual image of his endeavor of bringing about universal human integration. It proclaims to the world the essential oneness of different religious beliefs. God is one and he is one for everyone. The names and forms are different, but he is the same omnipotent, omnipresent and omniscient, one in all the faiths. His goal is to unite all human beings, regardless of their caste, creed or religion. He declares to the world, our planet Mother Earth is made of five elements, namely water, soil, fire, wind and space. And we are also made of the same five elements. We are the children of the Mother Earth and the universe. We must strive to protect and preserve this beautiful Mother Earth of ours by keeping the five elements in balance so that we can protect and preserve humanity for our future. We can achieve this goal by his motto, service to humanity is service to God. He states that all the people in this world should spread love and peace to all in the world. He states everyone should improve him or herself first, that improve their family, neighborhood, municipality, county, state, country, and the world. His divine lesson for golden decade 2010 to 2020 reflects this commitment, particularly to promoting closer ties between United States and India, the world's two largest democracies. Swamiji envisions a future where these nations collaborate to create a world brimming with peace and prosperity. During his visits to the US over the years, he has engaged with prominent figures, including leaders, intellectuals, scientists, and policymakers, disseminating his message of universal integration, peace, and brotherhood. His influence has extended to international forums like the United Nations Youth Assembly and discussions on global warming. However, his Social commitment to welfare of the is evident through this non-profit organization which established the Vishwayogi Institute of Medical Sciences Mother and Child Care Hospital in Guru. This free hospital caters to the healthcare needs of the underprivileged rural communities. This is a hospital as mentioned. Uh, it has a 36-bed hospital inaugurated in 2008 by Dr. Abdul Kalam, the then president of uh, India. Monthly medical camps are being held uh, on the third weekend of every month, where they pre-COVID used to see close to 2,500 patients one weekend. Since after COVID, the numbers have gone down, but the amount of work these people do is enormous. They not only provide free lab services, x-rays, EKGs, and medicines, including diabetic medicines, free of charge. On every Wednesdays, they have free diabetic clinics where they see close to about 150 to 200 patients. They, besides this, they have been supporting the local schools helping the students with their needs. They have helped build apartments for the needy also. They have helped build a church as well as a dharga close to Kultura area. So his teachings really show what he really is. He is practicing what he's preaching. I think that is all we have to follow if we want to follow his footsteps, even a 5% or 1% of what he does, I think we would have achieved a lot. Uh, these are some of the glimpses of the photographs during his, uh, during the medical camps that we have had uh, at the Mother and Child Care Hospital. They have been seeing patients in all categories, including general medicine, cardiology, pulmonary, uh, gastroenterology, ophthalmology, neurology, uh, 
gynecology, rheumatology, and if these patients need more work, they are referred to other specialists who are themselves also Swamiji's uh, volunteers uh, and devotees. And they volunteer their work free of charge without any expectation, just because of Swamiji's love and teachings, they follow the footsteps. Uh, during the COVID era, with everything closed down, in spite of that, he continued to serve the people. The organization continued to serve the people by providing shelter, food, as well as sandals to, for them, for the people to walk home when there were no conveyances available. Uh, rationing was done for the needy since they could not go out to get the food. Uh, and it has continued even now. Coffee, the least amount that we can do in the Memphis area. We have been over the years supporting uh, the homeless at the Mana House, supporting the children displaced by domestic violence, supporting the Memphis Food Bank, clothes dry for the homeless, food pantry at the Unity Church and the Vincent de Paul Society, created gardens at the Frame Park of Buddhist Meditation Center. Installed privacy fence, yard cleanup, growing a meditation garden at the Mid South Sikh Temple, interfaith garden, and help the Unity Church of Practical Christianity, where Swami loves to go. Holding interfaith and multicultural gatherings in Memphis for the past 20 years. Fundraising for the mother and child care hospital. Funds raised for shoes for migrant workers and food distribution, as well as provided drinking water for almost 1,000 people in the summer of this year. These are some of the volunteer efforts we have performed on behalf of the organization. This is just a drop in the ocean, if you can call it, uh, what we have been able to do for Swamiji. Uh, what he does for us in return is not measurable by quantity. It's the quality and the love that he spreads and gives us. And the unconditional love and he provides us is we are a proportion to what we provide him with. Thank you so much. Without much ado, I think what we are going to do is uh, question and answers. Ajna. Okay. Swami. Mohan. Is that good? No, no. See on the different.
God is one, God is one, God is one for everyone. God is one, God is one, God is one for everyone. God is one, God is one, God is one for everyone. God is one, God is one, God is one for everyone. God is here, God is there, God, God everywhere. God is here, God is there, God, God everywhere. God is Jesus, God is Nanak. God is Rama, God is Krishna, God is Jesus, God is Nanak. God is Rama, God is Krishna, God is Jesus, God is Nanak. God is Rama, God is Krishna, God is Jesus, God is Nanak. God is Allah, God is Buddha, God is Amma, God is Baba. God is Allah, God is Buddha, God is Amma, God is Baba. God is one, God is one. God is one for everyone. God is one, God is one, God is one for everyone. God is here, God is there, God, God everywhere. God is here, God is there, God, God everywhere. 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 रघुपति राघव राजा राम पति तपन सीता राम रघुपति राघव राजा राम पति तपन सीता राम रघुपति राघव राजा राम पति तपन सीता राम रघुपति राघव राजा रघुपति राघव राजा राम रघुपति राघव राजा राम रघुपति राघव राजा राम रघुपति राघव राजा राम पति तपन सीता राम पति तपन सीता Patita Pavan Sitaram Patita Pavan Sitaram Patita Pavan Sitaram Dear Divine Tons, I am very very happy on this happy, very very happy, immense happy to come to this campus You wish to open this. I like and love the pleasant, heartbreaking atmosphere of the campus. The students who are coming to study in the university. We have to create a pleasant atmosphere, peaceful atmosphere there where they can think, they have to think about the studies only, but not any, I don't want to tell that. We have to reform them 
first of all we have to clean the minds of the students who enters into the campus they might be so much of nuisance and nonsense and the dirt in the society so some dirt is being stuck to the mind when we enter from the society into the campus but to have clean clean we have to wash iron and we have to make it clean then only if it is empty with unnecessary things then we can put any important uh, matter into their minds their minds must be ready to capture the intelligence coming from the professors <coughs> lecturers from the libraries in the university area i visited so many campuses yuk university i attended three times i gave my discourse to students there chapel hill university not telangana john hopkins university hospital and medical college i visited and i gave my discourse to the audience the students and the teachers also doctors also i visited so many universities i am very interested to go and move not give any lecture or anything to move in the peaceful atmosphere recently also i visited university the university is a place where universal education should be taught to the students from the lecture process universal education should be taught there but not our religion is good that religion is not good our caste is good that the caste is not good our nation is good that nation is not good no we have to tell them all are good we have to tell them to love the mother yet on which we are living think think am i correct or not the universe education is think we have the whole human race belong to only one family the people who are living on the earth it the people who are living on the earth belong to only one family that must be our slogan <laughs> they are neglecting and ignoring the mother earth from one way university to another university we are sending children students not only in this country to other countries also for what purpose to observe there to study there the customs the culture the atmosphere there and after observing and receiving noticing all the different cultures all the different religion all the different people's attitudes all the, there may be different kinds of attitudes in the person there may be so many differences but 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 we are all human beings we have to love the <coughs> students must learn universal education in the universities second what is the first and foremost duty of the university What is the first and foremost duty of university? 
in the university we have to receive universal education one second we have to learn the student how to love others how to receive others how to cooperate and coordinate with the different mentalities of the persons how to move in different atmospheres are we are we are we learning i can't i don't want to mention names of the some countries but the main reason in the world unrest in the world is due to the misguided the misguided youth we have to guide the youth in proper way i am very happy to see these people and i enter into the room they are doing very good job so first of all even the great people could not succeed they started the mission only with four or five people i am very happy to come here on the october 2nd on gandhi jayanti day and i am very happy to see the two non violent persons of the world martin luther king and mahatma gandhi hmm. i visited the place where he was shot dead martin luther king they invited me and they showed me different parts uh, in that museum they made it a museum the very good very good Gandhi the father of the nation, not the father of the one nation. I, in my opinion, he is the father of the human race, not only India. He is the father of human race. Oh, I, he, uh, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, listen to me carefully, brothers. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, who is called the Sarikar to Gandhi, frontier Gandhi. He met Mahatma Gandhi when two countries divided, Pakistan and India. You are putting our, all of us into the hands of one country. What is the condition when they mislead me, misbehave? Then Mahatma Gandhi told, "Then we can see. You can meet me. I will give support to you, help you." They told, "How can you give support? You are non-violent." you don't take any weapon then we can see the non violence of mahatma gandhi stop fight to stop non violence to stop violence using the violence or so non violence it is my definition to non violence suppose a person 1000 people he suffer he is firing 1000 people but the police we are doing taking the weapon and then shooting the shooting immediately for what purpose to save the thousands and thousands of the people if they kill the cops kill one person it is not a crime it is not a crime according to the constitution also it is not a crime to protect yourself to protect yourself when one 10 person or 11 person attack you with weapon If you attack them and if you kill one person and others run away, it is not a crime. Am I correct or not, Professor? You think we have to tell the students like that? Body is the temple of the Lord. Heart is the altar of the Lord. We have to make the body strong. Swami Vivekananda proclaimed, "I want youth, Vajra Kaya Mo, Vajra Chankal Mo." इन मुक्ल Gain. One is physical strength. Second, mental strength. Financial strength. 
social strength and spiritual strength. These five strengths are very essential. So we have to give the five strengths to the students in the universities. We have to make them gems of the world. Gems of the world. That is my mission to unite all the people of the world in spite of religions, cash, anything, any differences. Differences may be different. Differences may be different. But we must be united. That is my slogan. Obey, arise, and unite for protecting the Mother Earth. Now the Mother Earth is in a great danger. And you can observe so many incidents happening in the world. We have to tell the student not to interfere the nature, not to destroy the nature, not to impute the nature, not to pollute the nature. Nature is the God itself. In, in, in ancient, not only in ancient India, now also when you are doing Lakshmi, Lakshmi Ashtotram, what is the first name of Lakshmi in India? Prakruti Namaha. That is Prakruti means nature. Nature itself Lakshmi. Next, Vikruti Namaha. Vikruti means when it happens, terrible atmosphere, they are happening, the, we are facing the uh, hurricanes, hurricanes, tsunamis, earthquakes, all these are Vikruti, uh, Vikruti form of Lakshmi. So we have to invite both Prakriti and Vikruti, we have to worship, don't pollute the nature, don't pollute five elements of the nature, five elements of the nature, what are the five elements of the nature? Soil, water, fire, air and space. But I am very sorry to tell you, we are impuring, we are polluting the five elements, that is the main reason. That is the main reason for all the incidents happening in the world. What happened in China? Two weeks back, three weeks back. Because of hurricane, they suffered a lot. What happened in Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh, India? Plus, what happened in America also? What is this nonsense and nuisance? Because of the pollution of the fire elements, because we are entering the nature, these are happening. Don't enter the nature. Don't spoil the nature. Write the nature. Worship the nature. Love the nature. That's why, that's why. House to another house. One city to another city. One country to another country. To spread and tell each and every person about this. Unity, unity, unity. If we unite, we can do better. If we unite, we can bring the Lord into the earth also. If we unite, we can throw away the poverty. Suppose you want trillion dollars, trillion trillion dollars. It is very difficult. But I say it is very easy. Only you have to do to make trillion trillion persons your admirer. If you make trillion trillion persons your admirer, and if they want to share, how much each one? One dollar, only one dollar. That is the strength of unity. I bless you all. Children, children, we got to make them yams. That's why I am moving from house to house, house to house, and talking to the children, not only face to face, to telephone also, video calls also. I am asking the parents, call your son, call your daughter, and put video calls. And I am encouraging, I am supporting. I am, I am, I am telling that we are friends. That's we have to make them jump of the world. We must be very proud coming from India. 20 years back from the 
2001, since 2001, I have been telling India will become the greatest country in the world. India attains the Vishwaguruzhan and India and America comes closer and closer and America raises India and it happened. Another historical reason, it will be coming true. All the heads of the countries, important countries, heads of the important countries, gather there in India under the under the leadership of navigation of the Prime Minister of India, the Yogis of India, a summit, a summit. What is that summit? Peace summit will be held there. And they talk about how to bring peace <coughs> to the whole world, how to unite all the countries, it will be done. All the countries come together and all the countries are united and they think about bringing peace to the world. We might be ready to receive that, to visit that and to bring peace to the world. Now I want to ask question. Before that, I asked you Makesh to read your pledge. You can repeat. Um, it's okay, I will read it now. Please repeat after me. One we are. One, one we are. are. We are all one. We are all one. One family. One, one family. family. Only one family. Only one family. family. We are all only one family. We are all only one family. I, you, he, she, I, I you, you, she, she, this and that and all. This and that and all. We are all universal family. We are all universal family. Whatever the religion may be. Whatever the religion may be. Whatever the race may be. Whatever the race may be. Whatever the nation may be. Whatever the nation may be. Whatever the language may be. Whatever the language may be. We are all human beings. We are all human beings. We are all human family. We are all human family. Let us unite in the name of humanity. Let us unite for peace and prosperity. Let us unite for ourselves and for all. Let us unite for our Mother Earth and the Universe. Unity makes us strong and peaceful. Unity brings us bliss and prosperity. If we unite, we can make miracles. If we unite, we can throw away poverty. If we unite, we can make the earth the heaven. If we unite, we can bring the Lord to the earth. Unity is our strength. Humanity is our life. Unity is our strength. Humanity is our life. Unity is our strength. Humanity is our life. Humanity is our life. Dedicated to the Divine Lotus Spirit of His Holiness, Bhagavan, Sri 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 Maharaj, with Pranam, Maharishi Kavikandala, son of Dr. Madhuri and Madhubam Kavikandala, Seattle, Washington, USA, brother of Aparupa Kavikandala. Question. What did you do? Or what? Try to use the mic so that it's audible in the yes. phone. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, ask questions out. So. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, sure. So, like, uh, before I, well, like, before I start with my questions, like, I want to, like, thank for such a lovely speech. First of all, like, I think it deserves a big applause. <laughs> but, like the energy, like I, I, I'm a person who believes in like positive energy. Like the amount of positive energy he brought here, like was immaculate. Like it, like a 30 minute speech, but it was like it was fill, filled with a good vibe, which I felt. Uh, and also like. Uh, as he said, like how he was like insisting certain points of like how this has to be pushed to the youth, like there's way or like uh, the ahimsa, the, the non-violence, the unity. Like, uh, like the one thing that I thought when he was talking about is like 
if uh, like energy he has, if it has been passed down to the youngsters, I feel like there's gonna be a big change happening. And I wish and like I hope we take this and pass on. Like as youth and youngsters, I know like the things that you are speaking is like real and it's happening. And it's so true that what he says is that like it's the youngsters, it's not us. It's like it's basically like I feel like the next 40 to 50 years the change is all it's gonna be the youngsters who are gonna change it and I hope it happens. Yeah, thank you. I, I just wanna thank you so much. Thank you. <coughs> Questions. Um so so when you're talking about Gandhi's teaching of nonviolence, how do you make it relevant on managing it for Earth's pollution in what way that, that Gandhiji's uh, philosophy could be related to uh, managing the Earth's pollution? Very good question. And they did the doubt in every morning doubt. Even like Indian myself. How is it possible? Huh? I give that why I told that to stop violence using some violent force is not a violence, it is also non violent. Understand? If four person, five person attack you when you are going on the road. Hmm? They don't know that you know karate. Immediately you, you are attacking and you are hitting two or three persons uh, they broke their legs and hands. Good. They are being dragged to the hospital. It is not you are not violent, you are not violent. And they are violent, you are not violent. That is my question, answer. You to your question, my answer is that not only to you, all the people of India and the world. We are, we are tolerating the violence. That is, violence is growing up. Am I correct or not? You go and enter the master bedroom, lying on the master bedroom, you uh, bed, you can think. We are encouraging the violence. That is the main reason for the rising of the violence in the world. <coughs> we are not interfering. Don't interfere the nature, but interfere when violence is going on. Don't keep quiet when something is happening in the neighborhood, very near the neighborhood, but we are keeping quiet. Mike, tonight, this is unity. You are to put the attention also. Unity, unity. Unity is our strength, humanity is our That's why I asked Mahesh to raise the pledge. That deal that was the come, that has come from the deepest part of a little boy then. So, if we mold the children, we can make them young. Are we doing that? No. Your first and first most responsibility, the parents' responsibility is to make the children jump of the world. Understand? Are you listening? Mm. You like it? You like it? You like it? Mm. I think you have got the answer. Direct answer is that. What is that answer? To Stop the violence okay. using violence is not a crime also. According to constitution also it is not crime. The same thing I am telling. Stop violence when it is happening in some place. Unitedly, if one person is doing nonsense and nuisance, when the whole village, whole city the people unite, they come forward unitedly, he is running away. Nobody is uh, daring to do like that. Not uh, calling mommy, daddy, brother, 
Tell them me. No. Immediately you have to attack, and you have to tell them a lesson. Then nobody is coming to attack you. For example, for your answer also, example. The highest position person in India. When we are we are talking, he called me and we are talking. So many problems are um, there for me. You know, they are facing so many problems. Uh, I, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. What happened? I am thinking, and they are like, no, you did not go. But the solution tells for me. Thank you all for your. You need not worry. Listen, all the intellectuals of the world. You are very intellectual. Not solving the problems. The solution for the whole problem is becoming powerful. If we become powerful, every problem will be solved, and everyone is coming to us, praising, writing, and help, asking them, requesting us to help. The day has come till now because we have become powerful. Am I correct or not? So that is not the. Um, Greatness of the politicians or anything. They did the yogic blessing, the Parama Guru's blessing. Parama Guru's are willing to make the world abode of peace, but we are making it hell. But but a day will come. You will see India will become America and India merging and mixing. They will give peace to the whole world.
all the doctors uh, should see in that uh, Indian flag, American flag, China flag, no. O, o plus O by 2, they are then seeing and they are giving. From the Indian also they are giving blood. China person also they will give blood. Any blood can be useful for any person. Whether you believe it or not, whether you accept it or not, all the people are belongs, they belong, we belong to one family, it is correct. Not the word of myself, it is, it is the declaration of the ancient rishis. The ancient spiritual scientists of the world, they declare, we are quarreling in the name of that and in the name of that, this and that. I am asking, why are you not quarreling in the name of uh, commerce, business? Why are you doing business with the countries whom we think it is, he is the enemy for us? We are doing business in all countries. Am I correct or not? You, you think. True countries are enemies, but they are doing business commercially. They want to earn money. Earn money. Money is not the bad food. But, 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 money is being controlled by ourselves. We should not be slave to their money. <laughs> ఉండాలనే <laughs> ఎంత పురున్న పరిస్థితి మనం మార్చలేము కానీ మారుతుంది తప్పకుండా ప్రయత్నం చేస్తే ఇవాళ రేపు ఎల్లుండో మార్తు రోగం వచ్చింది వన్ పర్సన్ సఫరింగ్ ఎత్తే తెచ్చి డాక్టర్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఆస్కింగ్ హిమ్ టు గో ఎవే యు హెవ్ టు సఫర్ గో అండ్ వితౌట్ టేకింగ్ మెట్ నాట్ టేకింగ్ మెట్ బట్ హీ టు క్యూర్ హిమ్ సెల్ఫ్ హీ ఈస్ గివింగ్ మెడిసిన్ He is doing this test and that test and he is giving medicine. We have asked him to wait for one month, two months, six months. We have to wait. Then we will be cured. In the same way, I am telling the medicine. The rishis told the medicine. The yogis are telling yoga prakriya. We are telling but not practicing. That is the main thing. If we practice, if we make the body strong, you know the age of this body? 81 Doctor, yes, he will come. Another one. Meet the other organ. Do you guys have any questions you can go forward and ask? Just thank you. Thank you. Yes. 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 That is, that, is, that is the problem in the world now. <laughs> no, it's just, I, I mean, I'm just thinking, it's, 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 a, it's easy to say unite, unite. How do we do it? I'm thinking in terms of policy. I'm not thinking in terms of how do we unite. I can unite with everyone here, but how do we affect the person who puts it in front of the, 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 the wealthy, the, the millionaires, the, the politicians? How do we get them involved? If we, like you said, it's, Together, uh, together we're strong. We can achieve many things. So my opinion is, if that's if it's so simple, then we should it should be easy to get many people. Listen. I mean, like you said, you can talk, 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 but many people don't want to do anything. So I don't know.